good morning, here we are day 20. We're currently in Bundaberg, stayed there overnight, and we've come to the rum distillery. So, I don't know if they have Bundaberg rum in the UK, do you know? here as well which we're gonna wander around now so I suggest if you ever do come here get here early because it's a pretty cool museum I've only seen half of it so far but yeah I'm gonna give that a wander around and then get on with the tour In there. This is where they taste the rum before it goes out and it's in a red room so that they can't judge it based on its colour. So that's an actual job? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Jesus. Found the Bundy Bear. Here he is. My new best friend. You want to get him and give him a hug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for the museum. It's not a huge one, but you can definitely spend a good 45 minutes to an hour there if you read everything and learn everything. We sort of skip through a lot of it. But now, onto the tour of the distillery and some rum tasting, hopefully, at the end. Sorry, guys, I couldn't take the camera in there. But it was pretty cool. They showed us, like, from start to finish, how they make it all, talk through all the more exclusive ones. Which I've got some here, so this is a Solera, it's called. So I think it's about $180 a bottle, so uh, all part of the tour with a, with a pass, so thank them paid for it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I put some ginger beer in it though, because I'm not a big spirit drinker. Which one did you get? I got the small batch, I got it with ginger beer as well, and it's quite nice with the ginger beer. <laughs> quite nice, quite good. I can't drink it by itself. <laughs> so yeah, you get um, one rum sample and one liqueur sample, so. These are the rums, and then we're gonna go and check out the liqueurs now. So we've got a taste of four liqueurs. So we've got um, banana and toffee, vanilla, salt and caramel, and what was your one? Chocolate and coffee. Yeah. Chocolate and coffee. Having them neat, because apparently they're pretty sweet as they are, so they don't really need too much of a mixer. Apparently if you put them with milk, it tastes like ice cream, but um, yeah, let's give them a go like this. Three minutes, two minutes it's been there. No, I haven't. Ruined it. You can rub it out. So I think I definitely preferred the uh, banana and toffee. That was probably the best one. Which one did you like the most? Well, I preferred the salted caramel one, which is surprising because I thought this one would be my favourite. Yeah, what's that coffee one? <laughs> Chocolate. That was so funny. <laughs> Have you had too many drinks? <laughs> I've had too many already. Lucky I'm the one that's driving. But yeah, um, my favourite's honey. Honey? Banana and toffee, maybe I've had a few too many. <laughs> Banana and toffee, Hannah's is a uh, sort of caramel. Then we're gonna take a look around the gift shop and then be on our way and explore a bit more Wonderbird. <laughs> My favorite thing to play if I'm in a gift shop is see what the most expensive item I can find is. I imagine it's probably gonna be a super rare bottle of, uh, bottle of rum, but let's have a look, see what we can find. Let's start with the cheapies. How about a wall flag? or a pool triangle or a hundred dollar pool cue to go with your pool triangle this wonderfully modeled ladies singlet for $29.95 <laughs> the Solera which is the one I tasted is pretty expensive $180 for one bottle I think we found our winner check this thing out this 4.5 litre bottle in this swinging cradle thing not really sure how you'd actually pour drinks out of it but at a price of $375 it is the winner in the gift shop competition. Well, I managed not to buy anything in the gift shop. We're out of the distillery now. I'm gonna head off and see what else Bundaberg has to offer. But yeah, if you are watching this and you're ever coming this way, definitely check out the distillery. The tour's pretty cool. It's fairly cheap, only $30. 
and you can spend a good few hours in between the tour, the museum, tasting your drinks, chilling out, checking out the gift shop. So yeah, it's definitely worth it if you're ever heading this way. So now you join us in Bagara, about 15, 20 minutes away from Bundaberg. We've found a public barbecue. We've never used one before. We've been in Australia nine months, never used one, always wanted to. So we thought, why not? We're here, the sun's setting. We're right near the ocean. Let's give it a go. We've got a bit of a Mexican style feast. Hannah's vegetarian now, going eight days strong. So there we go, that's it, our barbecue by the beach. What did you think out of 10? Um, I'd score it an eight, purely because the food was great, the barbecue was great, but it went cold really I thought you were quickly. gonna say the company was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, that's true, fair enough. We'll know that for next time. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Yeah.